Greg, what uh, what do you think happened that second half? You held them to 32. I think Fon came out, blocked some shots, start the half, and then when you came in, uh, just kind of kept rolling on that that defensive side. Uh, definitely, um, you know, coming out of halftime, Thon definitely did a great job protecting the rim for us, um, and I think guys just just helped each other defensively. Um, you know, um, you know, anytime you play in these guys, you have to contain, you know, DeRozan and Lowry. So it's about just do whatever you can to slow them down. Um, and when we did finish with the rebound, just getting out and run. Same thing we've been talking about all year. Greg, your first playoff appearance, a double double for you. Rewarding feeling? Uh, I mean, anytime you win, it feels good. Um, you know, especially against a good team, a, a playoff tested team to come in here and get one. Uh, feels good. Um, uh, I understand that we have a lot of work uh, still ahead of us, uh, but it definitely feels good to get a win in the playoffs at any moment. Charles? Greg, what was it about so important to get the rebounds against this team because they can really uh, they can board? Yeah. I mean, they're, they're, one of the, they're one of the best offensive rebounding teams in the league. Uh, that was something that we went over um, countless times uh, over the past couple of days. Just making sure we keep those guys off the board. You know, it's a lot of guys that come in and off the rebound. So that was one thing we had to focus on. What do you think of the follow-up just about the, the young guys' play, Giannis, uh, and especially Malcolm and Fawn, uh, right. who, who are yeah. rookies? Yeah. I mean, well, well you got to remember Gian, Giannis has been in the playoffs before. Um, so he, he has a little bit of experience. Um, but, you know, Malcolm and Thon have been doing what they've been doing for us all year. You know, they're, they've, they've been playing – um, like they're like they're veterans, you know, they approach everything like a veteran. They're very mature kids. So, I mean, you know, it definitely, you know, they've been a big part of our success this whole year. And, um, you know, tonight they just continue to do the, how they continue to play, how they've been playing for most of the year. John, what was the uh, difference defensively between the first half and the second half? How would you guys turn it up? Uh, uh, I think the energy just rose, the effort just rose. I mean, uh, guys were a lot more active. Getting, a, getting our hands on a couple more balls, deflections, and, and steals and stuff. So, I mean, you know, that's how we have to play all the time. Do you feel like your defense matches up well against the, this team uh, offensively and that you can take away a, a player or two aggr uh, aggressively? I mean, I mean, you know, we, we, we kind of adjust according to personnel. You know, we, we kind of do some things to kind of slow them down. Um, but, I mean, I think we're a versatile team. You know, however teams choose to play, small, big, I think that, you know, the kind of players we have, we can kind of adjust to any lineup. Honest head coach Dwayne Casey described you as the X factor for Milwaukee. Uh, uh, What's your mindset? How are you approaching this playoff series? Um, just, just coming in and, and, and doing whatever I can. Um, um, you know, I know, what they, I know what the coaches and my teammates expect of me, so I just try to come in and do my part, um, you know, rebounding. Um, making plays for other, you know, communicating, kind of anchoring the defense. So, I mean, you know, I didn't know he said that. Uh, someone mentioned that to me in the locker room. I didn't know that. But, um, I mean, you know, I'm just, I'm just here to help in any way possible. Um, you know, we're in this together. I'm just trying to make sure I do my part.